Hi, I'm Helen, and I'm going to talk to you about ceremonial grey cacao and why it's a game-changing relationship to have. Whether you love chocolate, like chocolate, are indifferent to chocolate, this plant, when you work with it in its rawest form, can allow you to have much better focus, it can allow you to reduce any attachments to caffeine or sugar, it can allow you to detox, yes, cacao can allow you to detox, it can boost your mood, it can help focus your concentration, it makes you feel great, I mean if you think about what most people enjoy, why most people enjoy eating chocolate, it makes you feel good for maybe a few minutes. When you work with ceremonial grey cacao, that feeling lasts for three to four hours and stays in your system for up to 72 hours. So join me and I will show you how you can work with ceremonial grey cacao at home and incorporate it in your lifestyle for a happier, more focused, healthier, more delicious life. I'm going to teach you how to make ceremonial grey cacao in about five minutes. This is going to set you up for life whenever you're feeling a bit stressed, you need a little bit more love, a little bit more flow, unlock a little bit more creativity. This is what you're going to do. So first of all, I've got my ceremonial grey cacao. I'm going to make enough for two people, so I'm going to use my digital scales to weigh this out. Now, dosage is really important. If you're going to microdose, maybe have it um, in the morning or something like that, get on with your day, maybe replace coffee, um, you're going to be looking at having between, well, say maybe up to 15 to 20 grams. It's going to depend on how sensitive you are to it, what your relationship with caffeine is like, how, um, how much food you've got in your system. So start small is my advice and increase incrementally so you can feel into it and how your body reacts. So I am going to make, a little bit, I'm going to do 20 grams each for us. If you're going to go for a higher ceremonial um, grade quality for meditation, for ceremony, um, for some deep processing, then you, or maybe you've got a creative idea that you really want to kind of unpack, you're starting a business and you want to take some time to like draw it all out, vision board it, storyboard it, then maybe you want to be working with more like 25, 30, I definitely would never take more than 40 grams and really you need to make sure that you've got time to process and be with yourself if you're working with that kind of quality. So I've now chopped up the cacao into smaller pieces as you can see here and I've got my pan and I've measured out the amount of water I need in the two mugs that I'm going to be serving the cacao in. So water goes in the pan and then I'm going to put in the cacao. Okay so now the cacao is in the pan I'm going to add my seasoning to make it sweeter and more juicy. So there's the cacao. I use dates to sweeten it and you can also use agave syrup um, but really I think dates are the nicest way because not only do they make it sweeter but they also thicken it up. Some people don't like sweetening it at all and really enjoy the bitterness of it but I like a little bit of sweetness. And also every because cacao is a plant, it's not like it always tastes the same because it's to do with the age, where it's grown. Cacao actually grows three degrees in either direction around the, the equator belt. So it's like planet Earth has a big chocolate belt on, which is a lovely thing. But of course it grows in different terrain, so then it's going to taste a bit different each time. So it's not anything to be worried about if that happens. Right. Seasoning. Pinch of salt for each person that you're making it for. Um, I use some really good quality sea salt. And then seasoning, I would try where you can to use organic ingredients because if you really think of this as being a medicine, something ceremonial, something sacred, you try to minimise any form of chemicals going into it because this is the rawest you can get. I put a little bit of black pepper in, so I like a little bit of spice. And I'm going to put a little bit of cayenne pepper. Now the cayenne pepper is great because it's a conduit that helps it get into your bloodstream a little bit, um, a little bit faster. So just a little bit of that. Um, obviously, if you like your spice, you can put a little bit more in. You can also put in coconut oil, and coconut oil makes it really smooth and thick. 
but it means that the, the cacao, how long it takes to get into your system, is a sort of a longer, smoother ride, a bit like a bullet coffee. That's not what I'm going for today, so I'm not going to put any coconut oil in. And the final two things that I always include are cinnamon and nutmeg. Um, for me, they just really bring the cacao to life. And I love cinnamon. It's very good for you, so I'm going to put quite a bit in there. Right. Now I'm ready to warm this up. Okay, um, so now I'm going to heat the cacao. It's really important that you don't allow it to boil. Um, you want to get it nice and warm and slightly simmery, but you don't want to get it too hot because that's going to start to break down all the goodness that's inside and it's the goodness that we want to keep in its raw estate whilst we drink it. So, starting to heat this. Where possible, it's great to cook with gas, of course, but in my kitchen, I don't have it. So as you can see, it's really starting to simmer now. Um, just coming up, just as it starts to bubble, this is when I'm gonna just turn the heat down and just let it thicken, break down, and do its thing. My top tip is to put it in the blender just for four or five seconds. It really adds to the creaminess, the silkiness, and the frothiness of the drink. So, just finished blending it, you can see all the nice bubbles on the top, and now it's time to pour it. And now I'm going to drink the cacao. Now I really encourage you to make the most of this experience. If you've got the time and you're working with a stronger dose, definitely set up your space however you want that makes it feel a little bit special and you've got what you need to hand. So have some water because cacao detoxes you, so you're really gonna need to replenish your system afterwards. Pens, paper, things for journaling, maybe a candle, maybe burn some incense, maybe you wanna clear the energy with some Palo Santo or some sage and really make this experience a really nice big dose of me time. Now is the fun part. So you've got yourself your space set up, you've got what you need. You're going to bring the cacao up in front of your heart. Close your eyes down. Hold the intention that you want to pour into the cacao in your heart. And very gently blow that intention, that prayer, that wish, 